Welcome to Penny, everyone. And um, we're gonna have a look at the hot start on the Cessna 310. Um, made a video ages ago about this and the technique that I had been taught um, by the previous owner, which is quite controversial because it's not Cessna's recommendation and it's not Continental's recommendation. And it was kind of a bit of a, a butchering of, of both. And it did work, but I have actually since just used the Cessna 310 recommended procedure. So I'll just show you what, what that is. So it's um, currently 1134. Uh, it's 79 degrees Fahrenheit outside and very, very humid. And we stopped flying at 1120, so 14 minutes ago. So it's been sitting on the ground 14 minutes since it was shut off. So if we bring the master on here, we've got just under 300 on the uh, cylinder heads and we've got about 165, 170 on the oil temperature still at the moment. So mags on for both the engines obviously. Mixtures we want full rich. I bring the throttles up until I hear the gear horn um, micro switch click which is right there and I'm gonna boost three seconds and then I'm gonna hit the starter, and then I'm gonna be ready to give the engine a little more boost if it's necessary. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, and then here we go. I toggled, and I didn't get that one. Okay. Same thing. Thirty-two Celsius. My gosh. <laughs> 